Hey YouTube, it's Carl R. Changing 56, and today is November the 19th, 2014. It's Wednesday. Yesterday was my 29 month surge anniversary. 29 months. Wow. Two years and five months. I can't believe it's been that long since I kind of changed my life. Um, I'll go back to the beginning. I don't always do that, but I will today. Um, started my journey in September of 2011, and at that time I weighed 221 pounds. That's my highest recorded weight. I'm pretty sure I weighed more than that at some point, but that's what I weighed um, when I started with my primary care physician and my six months of documentation. Finished that up, and uh, on the day of surgery, which was June the 18th, 2012, I weighed 193. I had surgery in Birmingham, Alabama at a Center for Excellence, which was Trini Trinity Medical Center with Dr. Scott Pennington. Um, and like I said, on that day, I weighed 193. Today, I weighed 121, which is where I've been for the past few weeks. Um, I haven't done an update in maybe, I don't know, a couple of weeks, almost three weeks. Just really hadn't had much to say, and but I've been kind of busy. So, um, But I'm still kind of hanging around um, 121. Um, I think that's going to be where I am, and, and that's good. Last Wednesday, I went to Birmingham and saw my gastroenterologist or my liver doctor. Um, I do have non-alcoholic cirrhosis, and that was one of, one of my comorbidities and one of the reasons why I had gastric bypass surgery. Um, he was very pleased. All my blood work looked good. Oh, well, for me, okay, my liver enzymes are still out of whack, but they're going to be. But for me, they were really good. Um, also, I had an ultrasound. Everything there looked good. Nothing, you know, nothing out of the ordinary or nothing different. Let's put it that way, nothing different. So that was pretty much an all-day thing because I had to go get blood work, had the ultrasound, and then I had to wait for the appointment. Um, on Monday... Of this week, I saw my prim primary care physician. Just kind of a follow-up with him. Um, I started taking Lexapro about six weeks ago. Maybe not quite that long. Anyway, that. And um, then when I was there, I had a couple of other issues. Um, sinus infection. And I've had a bleeding issue. And I, it's probably too much information. I mean, I haven't had a period in... Um, eight years. I had an ablation in 2006. So, um, I haven't, you know, I haven't had any bleeding since then. I don't think it's vaginal. I think the issue is one of the diabetes drugs that I take is called Invokana. And what that does is it makes you pee the sugar out. Well, one of the side effects is a yeast infection. Okay, I think that there is so much sugar in my urine that everything down there is irritated. And I think that that's where the bleeding's coming from. I don't know. He kind of agreed with me because, like, if you test my sugar from my urine, it's ridiculous. But then if you t actually test my blood, it's normal. So, I mean, the, the drug is doing what it's supposed to do. It's pulling the sugar out of my body, but it's also causing a few problems. So, therefore, I'm going to see the gynecologist today to see what she... You know, if she kind of agrees or let her look and see if there's, you know, anything else. Uh, I guess you can't be too careful. So, that's today. Um, but my primary care physician was pleased. I mean, I, I've been a patient of his since, um, let's see, 30 years. Um, so, he knows me fairly well. And so he was, he's really pleased. He's, I, when I go in, he still just is amazed when he looks at me. He said, I can't believe, I can't believe what you look like. He said, you are, you totally changed. But 
Anyway, so I'm getting excited. Uh, a week from today, I will be on my way driving to the beach. I know it's still cold, and it will be pretty chilly in Gulf Shores, Alabama. That's where I'm going, but I don't care. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the beach, no matter if it's cold or uh, if it's hot or if it's raining, I just love the beach. I love to listen to the water, you know. I'm just totally planning to relax. I, since my mom died, I have spent every holiday by myself. And this one will pretty much be spent by myself, but it won't be here. And it, it will be a time of relaxation for me. My college roommate does live there, so and I have a cousin that lives there. So I will be seeing some people um, during Thanksgiving. But I'm excited. And, I, <laughs> you know, I, I've been planning all this. I'm going, okay, well, it's going to be pretty chilly on the beach. But I still want to walk on the beach. Now, how am I going to walk on the beach? I can't walk barefooted, I thought. Rain, boot, rain boots. Let me show you. But I didn't want to pay a lot for them. You know, because, well, I didn't want to just pay a lot for them. So I, I w was in Walmart last night and I thought, well, I'll just look and see what they've got. I think these are just super cute. And they were on sale for $11. Now that, I can, I can pay, you know, $11 for little rubber boots. And they're cute. And I wear them, you know, at other times. But that kind of... Um, <laughs> Sorry, that kind of um, filled the need that I had. Um, the condo I'm going to has an indoor pool and an indoor hot tub, so I will get some exercise in. I, I love to swim no matter, you know, what, and I can look at the sun. And then, you know, it is Auburn, Alabama weekend, and as of this past weekend, we beat number one, and as of yesterday with the new bowl selection or whatever, committee. Alabama is number one, so, and you know I'm a fool about football. What can I say? Roll Tide. Um, other than that, I'm practicing to sing on Sunday. I'm singing a solo on Sunday. I have to sing it for all three services, so Sunday will be a busy day. But right now, I'm kind of focusing on next Wednesday and going to the beach. Now, I've told the girls that they're going on vacation. The problem is they're not going with me. I'm taking them to the border to the to the vet, and um, Zoe will be treated. She has really bad allergies, and she needs some shots and some stuff done to her ears. Um, they're, you know, they're not going to be happy, but they are not going to be happy anywhere without me. Um, but I just at the beach at Alabama, it's a no no dog beach, and there's just not, a, and nowhere will accept dogs unless it's just kind of a, um, you know, a, a special condo. There are a few that do, but they're kind of out of the way, and it's not where I want to go. Um, so I'm excited. I will stay from Wednesday until Sunday. I'll be there for the Auburn Alabama game. Haven't decided. I may just stay in the little condo and scream my little lungs out watching the game and listening to the water myself, or I may go, I don't know, to, um, a sports bar somewhere, or I could possibly go to my college roommate's um, house. I mean, we both gra graduated from the University of Alabama, so roll tide. Okay, I said that. I'm so sorry. What can I say? I, I get excited during football season. So, that's pretty much my update. Uh, weight is the same. And I, one question that uh, people ask me, and I always kind of forget to say that, is how, ta how tall are you? I am 5'3". So, um, I'm definitely well within um, um, good BMI for me. And, you know, I lost down. I mean, actually, I saw 113 at one point, but that's when I was kind of sick. Um, I stayed around um, 117, 118 for a while, and I was good there, but um, I think I'm probably better where I am um, weight-wise. I think um, my I still have this, and this is not going away without surgery, and that's just not happening. So I just, you know, I like it. I mean, I like the way I look. I'm, I'm very happy with where I am, um, and I'm... I'm good with it. I'm very happy with with where I am. I think I'm at a, at a good weight for me now. Um, so, you know, I'm within like a five-pound range of like 118 and 123. That's pretty much where I, 
day. If I if I kind of get up just a little bit, then I just, I mean, I'm anal about what I eat anyway. I mean, I still track every my, bite that goes in my mouth, and I stay right at 1,400 calories a day, and I still get about 100 grams of protein in every day. So I still, you know, like today for lunch, I made um, a poppy seed chicken casserole with rice and roasted broccoli and rolls. I ate the casserole. I ate some broccoli. I don't ever eat bread, and I have not, I mean, I have not had any rice since before surgery. No potatoes and no rice. I do eat sweet potatoes every once in a while, but um, not really anything else. No bread, no pasta. Um, so, you know, I still get in a lot of protein and, uh, what I eat every day is, uh, pretty much regimented and on special occasions, I, you know, may eat something more than what I normally eat, but it still does not include any sugar or any sweets or, um, rice, pasta, and, you know, bread. And that's because, um... I know that uh, Jennifer Ashton, I hope she doesn't mind me saying this, um, Sevo418, I think she is on YouTube, um, was pretty upset yesterday because her sugar was high and, you know, she's had two surgeries and now she, she's going to have to really kind of watch what she eats and she may be diabetic. Well, you know, most people, their diabetes goes away. Mine did, but it's back. So I cannot... I cannot eat any sugar. I just can't. It's too important to me for my health to still be very careful with what I eat. So, um, that's that's where I am. And um, I hope everybody, I don't know, I'll probably do an update from the beach. That's, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. I can do an update from the beach. But if I don't see you or talk to you before then, I hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving and be mindful of the holiday and what it's all about. We all have a lot to be thankful for. Um, I have my health to be thankful for, and I have many other things to be thankful for. So especially at this time of year, you know, just kind of take a little inventory of the good things. Sometimes I focus on the bad things, and we all do. But really, if you sit down and you make a list, uh, most of the time, the good outweighs the bad. It may not always be exactly what we want, but there is a lot of good in our lives. Okay, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.